Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dave Stone with another exciting episode of Develop Awesome Skills where I'm committed to providing inspirational and practical ways to transform your life and the world around you by planting fruit and medicinal trees. And today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about Moringa cuttings because uh, everybody's asking me after the Craig video, after we chopped the forest down, I've actually given away quite a few of those cuttings already and people have planted them. And uh, I just wanna show you guys an update on those cuttings right now so you so you can see how they're doing and uh and you can you can learn to have a, a little bit more patience because the cuttings require more patience than seeds actually uh sometimes now this is a cutting this is the campfire moringa that i dug out the campfire pit um this is the cutting from giant leaf and wow but i planted this one at the end of summer so this one went through winter did real well, started growing. It's pretty much about as tall as me now. And uh, it's doing really, really well. This one over here is the top of Maui. And I planted planted her at the same time. So not, not as tall. A lot more branches coming off. This was a much thicker cutting, as you can see. When you come over here and you look at the cuttings from Craig's, they're not necessarily sprouting a lot yet. Now this one that's sprouting, this is the air layer. So the air layer that developed roots already has some nice green sprouts coming out of it. So that's pretty cool. Now all of these ones, I've been watering them pretty constantly, not really every day, but uh, they stay pretty moist. Um, and this big tall one, getting some sprouts. But most of these really aren't getting much yet just not really anything so it takes a while and some of these might not even come up some of these might come up from the bottom like look at this one down here and even down here pretty cool even this one right here a little small cutting that the moringa actually came up straight from the bottom of a root that was underneath there so that's good um, but most of these don't really have much going on yet the air layer definitely doing the best um, but what you want to look for is you really want to look for I call them red pimples so right here there's a little red pimple that and right there that's where the the branches are gonna come out of look at it look at that that's what they turn into those little red pimples they turn into little sprouts so just look around on all the nodes for these like little red pimples. And you will see them if it's about to sprout. So not even, this one doesn't have any yet. So this one is uh, Honolulu. This is the one that we dug out of the ground. We had a small root ball attached to this. And you can really see the pimples well on this one. So right there, you can see one starting to develop right here. Right there. And then over on this side, there's actually a couple little sprouts coming out. So that's really nice to see. The, when you see the pimples, you know you're on a good, good track. This one is Kauai. And look at it go. It's just going crazy. This one had the root ball attached here at the bottom. And uh, it's pretty amazing. It's looking great. These are a whole bunch of moringas that I planted from seed. I got 70% germination rate. Those were all the ones that didn't sprout. And these are all the ones that did. Now this is a cutting here that's having a little more success than other cuttings. I'm getting some pimples there. I'm getting some nice little sprouts there. A nice little flower bunch coming out of here and then all up in here starting to sprout. But this entire row that I planted next to the greenhouse, I'm not getting any, anything to sprout yet. Now I'm thinking it's because these are in full sun. The ones that I'm getting to sprout right now are actually under my two trees there. So they're getting some shade. So I think that having your cuttings and a little bit of shade in the beginning is not a bad idea. But 
This is all the cuttings. So this is an experiment for me, guys, and I just want to let you know that I'm learning about these cuttings, so I don't necessarily know everything right now, but it's worth a try. Also, the native soil moringas that I planted, um, I might as well give you a quick update on those as well, since we're doing moringas here, because moringas are just like any other tree. They like to eat. They like food. If you want a food producing tree, you, sh you should feed it. So moringas, they can grow in desert soil. They can do it, but if you wood chip it and feed it, it's better. So the native soil moringas didn't really handle the winter that well. There was one right here in this hole. Um, I had another one right over, oh yeah, over here. Um, the only one that survived was this little guy and it's doing really well. So one native soil moringa out of all the ones I planted last year actually survived through winter. And we'll see if these ones sprout up at the bottom and they might, but uh, just a little experiment. So the thing about cuttings is be patient. Um, it actually is gonna take a little bit longer than you think to sprout these things. And it might take a few months, it might take three or four months um, to really get some good foliage on them, but you know, it's okay. And sometimes a seed, so I'm growing these seeds right now, so we're gonna be able to race the seeds and the cuttings and see which one does better, quicker, which is kind of cool. All these cuttings down here, some of them are doing pretty well. Let me show you. So these are the cuttings here. I've actually given quite a few of them away already. Um, but you come on in here, there's, there's some nice growth on this one down here, even up on there on the top there. So that's pretty nice. Um, but a lot of the ones that were sprouting, I, I gave away. So a lot of these, they don't even have, now this one, see, look, that's a good sign right there little red pimples and right here all right well thank you guys so much for watching this video uh, if you like this video give me a big green thumbs up uh, comment below how your moringa cuttings are doing and if they're taking a little bit longer than you think how you think they're gonna do I mean one of the things I'm learning about gardening is patience because uh, the seasons don't really care how fast we want things to grow <laughs> The seasons happen and plants grow the way they grow, but we can assist them along in the journey, but patience is a key, key ingredient. So anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching this video, and I really, really want to say thank you to my Patreon supporters. If you guys do want to support me on Patreon, it's a place where you guys can support your favorite artists uh, to keep doing what they do, and what I do is grow trees, and I want to do more of that. So uh, I want more Moringa in my life, <laughs> and I hope you do too. So when you find out the exciting power of Moringa, it will inspire you. If you like this video, give me a big green thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that little bell icon so you know when I post more. And just so you guys know, I'm gonna be posting every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday moving forward for a little while, uh, three days a week. So if three days a week is enough for you, let me know in the comments if you think that that's okay, because I really wanna keep providing you guys awesome content and uh, awesome videos to show you how Stonehaven's doing and beyond. I'm super excited about a lot of the other stuff that's got going on. Thank you so much for watching this video and until next time, develop awesome skills. I love y'all. Hi, baby. How are you, sweetheart? What are you doing? You like the moringas, baby? Hi, sweetheart.